and welcome. I'm Tom Cravello, broker owner of ERA Statewide Realty. I'm glad you're investing in yourself to improve your skills and watch the following video. And I'm with Paul G. Antonio, Director of Marketing and Sales. Following, you're about to watch a basic version of the ERA marketing presentation. It will demonstrate the basic presentation skills and techniques which you'll be exposed to in the coming weeks and months as you start your career here at ERA Statewide Realty. Together, we look forward to a long and mutually rewarding real estate career. I want to thank you for letting me uh, come by the home today and, and uh, tell you a little bit about how we can uh, help you reach your you know, real estate goals. What I'd like to do before we get started is, is really tell you a little bit about how I work and give you a better understanding of what to, to expect of what we're going to do, do this evening. Would that be all right with you? Sure. All right, great. You know, first thing I'd like to do tonight is, is basically ask you a series of questions to get a, a better idea of what your goals are, how, best that w how we can best help you achieve those goals. Uh, after, after I do that, I'm going to ask you to show me the house. I want to inspect the property, and I'd like you to show me the house the way you'd like to see a buyer see it. All right, so I, this way I could, I could see all the things that, that are important to you folks. When we're done with that, I'm going I'm to come back, sit down at the table again. I'm going to go over uh, my marketing presentation and show you the things uh, that we can do to help you achieve your real estate goals and how we can customize a plan that's right for you based on what we've found out by the series of questions. When we're done with that, I'll answer any questions that you might have regarding our marketing uh, and our plan. Uh, I'd like to sit down and, and uh, with you to help you determine a price estimate of, of net or what you would net from the sale of your home in today's market as it exists right now. All right. Uh, when we're through with that, I'm going to you know, take out all the forms and let you have an idea of what the forms are that are involved with getting a house on the market. What the selling process would be so this way when an offer does come in it won't be the first time you've seen everything all right so I want you to have some comfort level with that uh, and when we're done with that I'm going to just basically ask that we make a mutual decision I'm going to ask you folks to let me know if you think that uh, Paul G Antonio and the area statewide is the right company to help you achieve your real estate goals or if it's not for you then please let me know that too and we can part as friends okay. is that fair enough fair yeah. all right great now I, those series of questions, I, I, I wrote them down. I'm going to take out a sheet and we're going to cover them that way. I do that so this way I make sure I cover everything. I don't forget anything or we get sidetracked and I, I don't come back to it. So, uh, first of all, what I'd like to know from you folks is, is primarily why, why are you moving? Why am I here? Well, um, basically we're downsizing. Oh, and, great. Uh, and uh, we're, we're thinking that, uh, you know, maybe now's the time. Okay. Downsizing, and and uh, are you staying in the area, or are you going to be moving out of the out of the, out of state, or? I think we're going to be moving out of state. Well, that's great. Mm -hmm. Do you have a, have a spot picked out already? Not really. No, we're just kind of getting into that. Good, good, great. And uh, with this downsize, when would you like to have this uh, accomplished? When would you like to be able to get it done? Oh, certainly within the next six months. The next six months. So, yes. so based on this time of the year, you. you Prefer not to have to spend another winter in New Jersey. If, that, if I'm sounds good to me. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> All right. Within the next six months. And and folks, how long have you uh, lived in this home? Been Thirty years. About thirty, 30, 30 yeah. years. Plus. Right. Thirty years. Plus. 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 Thirty years plus. Man, it's a long time. Yeah. So it's got a lot of nice memories here. I'm, I'm yeah, sure. Absolutely. All mm -hmm. right. Great. Um, can you tell me what major improvements you've made in the property? Um, not enough. <laughs> <laughs> not, <laughs> not enough. <laughs> well, we've done a few upgrades with respect to the bathrooms and so forth. Yeah, how long, how long ago did you uh, oh, gosh, upgrade those bathrooms? Five or six years. Excuse me? Five or six years ago. Five or six years. Yeah. All right, anything else? Uh, not really. All right, roof, the original roof? Oh, no, it's a new roof. How old is that uh, roof? About two or three years. All right, see, there's a major improvement for you. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. All right. Maintenance. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> had, do, were there any additions or anything put onto the house? No. No. All right, great. Um, who else are you speaking to or, or talking to about the marketing of your home at this time? Well, since we just got started, we really haven't, you know, surveyed the uh, um, 
marketplace in terms of who we're going to be working with. Okay. You're the first person to <coughs> So it'll probably be the last person after you get done seeing what we have to offer for. We'll see. All right, great. <laughs> well, what I'll do is I'm going to try and uh, cover all those details so you'll know uh, exactly what's out there in the marketplace and how we do uh, differ from some of those. Um, what other source of funds do you have available to you in order to help you accomplish your, your goal to, to move into, a, you know, maybe out of state into, into the warmer weather? Well, um, uh, we have some reserves that we're put aside to hopefully uh, make the transition uh, smooth. Okay, great. And uh, but you know, we will be looking to sell a property well before we obviously move, yeah. we'll have to sell this property in order Use to accomplish right. that goal. Use okay, the money right. From so the sale. you're, you're going to need Absolutely. the equity from here. All right. right. Um, so that kind of pretty much um, mm. answers my next question. My next question is, how do you feel about owner financing? Would that be something that you might be? Uh, mm interested in considering or, or is it kind of getting it done clean? Mm. Yeah, it'll be like the breakaway clean. I think yeah. that would yeah. be right. more All right. You know, when I, when I speak to homeowners uh, about the marketing of the house, most of them have a number already in their head. Now, I'm not asking you what that number is specifically, but uh, what I'm asking you is, is how did you guys go about maybe coming to that number that you might have in your head? What, what, what information have you been looking at? Well, um, actually, that's why well, know, we're, we're we talking to you. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We, so really, we really so haven't looked too much at so, all right, so the real estate market in a long time. All right, time. great. Well, then, then, then it's good yeah. that I'm here because, you know, like I said, most people have a number in their head, and they have mm. all different ways that they came to it, and a lot, a lot of those things that they, they, they look at uh, aren't as accurate as, as we'd all like it to be, and, and, mm. and sometimes we're – not where we should be. So we'll, we'll be taking a look at that a little bit later on when I determine, you know, the net and give you an idea of what the market is with, with, with the accurate accuracy that we're going to need because ultimately what you net and walk away with is the most important thing to you, not some number that some realtor is going to throw at you to buy your listing in order to, to hope to bid it up high so you give it to them, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to deal with as much reality as we can. All right. Um, what major concerns do you have uh, as far as making the move? Put it another way, um, what might what keeps you awake at night when you think about you know downsizing it and, and you know moving out of the house? Well, absolutely, uh, the the fact that you want to coordinate the sale and the purchase uh, so it's a smooth transition. Okay, you just want to be homeless. <laughs> 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 That's a good we're, point. And we're not interested in renting, mm -hmm. right? So. So actually, timing uh, is, is most important in, in trying to coordinate the, the both the buy and the sell. I would say that's right. Well, that's good. All right, and, and you know, working with us and what we can uh, do for you, we do have uh, offices throughout the United States with ERA. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we can do is refer you to another ERA broker down in the area that, that you want to be. Did, did we discuss what area that was? Uh, no, actually, we hadn't really honed in on, a, okay. on an area, but be because as we begin, as you begin to pinpoint that, or even if you have yes. uh, two or three areas that you'd like to look at, I can give you the names of, of local brokers in those areas, and I can start to educate you on those markets. Mm -hmm. um, and and eventually, when you pick that out and you work with that broker, it'll be a lot easier for us to help coordinate the two closings mm -hmm. and uh, and release uh, some of that Great. <laughs> attention. And That's good idea. All right, okay, and so. Timing. Now, you know, what is most important to you? Would, would, would it be pricing, timing, or convenience? All three. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, uh, all three. What, what, what would it do to your plans if we weren't able to get the house sold? That would well, make it difficult. We wouldn't be able uh, to, you know, relocate. Uh, right. Well, move out of the area. well, would you be more likely to mm -hmm. give it more time or to adjust your your offering in order to help accomplish that goal? Uh, Ask the question again, please. Uh, if, if <laughs> <laughs> would you be more uh, likely to um, adjust your price to mm -hmm. reposition your property or or to give it much more time in order to well, accomplish your goal? I, I would say we could re reposition to a certain extent. Okay, great. Yes. Well, I'm, that's probably, you know, from your perspective, I'm thinking of, you know, of finding a place, having enough time to do that. Well, all right, we, want, well, we can coordinate yeah, that as well. So, so. I, Right, and, and, you know, uh, closing dates are, are negotiable as price. So right. when we do put the home on the market, you know, 
we'll have a better idea at the, at the time offers are coming in is where you are with your search and the time frame and, and what's available. So we can negotiate our, our closing date with our buyers mm -hmm. uh, as much as we can uh, negotiate price. Right. So mm -hmm. we'll keep that in mind as the offers start to come in. Fair enough? Thank you. Yes. All right, great. All right, um, folks, one last question. What would it take for me to earn your business this evening? Well, I suppose, um, you know, it's, it's kind of a premature question, wouldn't you think, um, in a well, sense that... Uh, well, no, no uh, let, let, me, let me phrase it a different way. What, what is the most important thing to you folks in the listing agent and the agency that you hire? Well, I think we'd like to be represented right. in, in a fair and equitable way. We'd like you to be able to work for us and... Uh, get us the best price possible for our home and um, so so yeah, basic honest and honesty uh, and, and, and fairness <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically what I'm hearing is is that uh, you're, you're gonna you're, you're hoping to find a company that obviously will represent you in, in the mm -hmm. best way possible mm -hmm. that can that can net you the highest possible dollar mm -hmm. for the house right. so right. If, if you felt comfortable with that then we'd probably be able to move forward I would say so yeah. All right, great <coughs> nice, nice. All right, I think I have a pretty good understanding of what we're trying to accomplish tonight. Uh, what I'd like to do at this time is, as I said earlier, is, is can we get up and you kind of inspect the property? You could show me the property the way you'd mm -hmm. like to see, uh, a buyer sure. to see it? Great. Okay. Well, folks, I, I want to thank you for showing me the house, and, and I, I did get a nice uh, insight as to, you know, the way, you know, what, what you really loved about this house for the last 30 years, and hopefully we'll be able to... Uh, uh, express that to the buyers as they come through. Um, what I'd like to do now is really show you, you know, our, our plan on how we can net you the top dollar and get it done in that time frame that you were hoping to get, uh, get it done and then we can get you moved into that warmer climate a little bit sooner. All right. <coughs> First thing I'd like to do is, is tell you a little bit about the ERA vision statement. Uh, ERA real estate company uh, is the real estate company of choice for consumers and agents uh, because uh, our, our consumers have total confidence in the fact that they're dealing with uh, a consummate professional expressing the highest level of service and integrity. All right, we're proactive. Uh, sales associates are ethical, forward-thinking, results-oriented professionals who take a proactive approach to the real estate market. Now, I bring that to your attention now because in the challenging market we're dealing with today, having a proactive approach to the sales uh, selling of your house is critical. It's not that we're going to just take it, put it in a multiple listing, and sit back and wait for people to show up. We have to take a proactive approach to help you achieve your goals. Uh, it's the kind of company you'd like to be working with? Absolutely. All right, great. What I want to do, uh, basically we talked about uh, these items already, you know, time, money. We're going to talk about some marketing solutions, and we're going to cover the whole blueprint of a successful transaction. Competitive pricing. First thing I want to talk to you about because it's one of the most important things that we can do uh, as the marketing team, all right, to help you accomplish your goal of getting the house sold in that period of time and also getting your top dollar. We're going to use a couple different approaches to help us accomplish that goal of competitive pricing. The first one that we do use, and, and one of the most important things, we're going to be able to give you a visual representation of what the market is like today. We're going to use a, uh, what we call a pricing grid. And, uh, and, and that, in, c in conjunction with our competitive market analysis, uh, is where we're going to take a look at the market uh, as it exists now. We're going to look at, at all the current homes that are available. That's your competition. We want to know what the buyers that are, that are looking at your home are going to be looking at the time of seeing your home. All right. But more importantly, we want to take a look at what sold most recently. All right, because we know what, when we look at the competition, what, what people are going to be asking. But what's more important is, what are the buyers buying? <laughs> okay, because that's who we're looking to, we're looking to get into that sold category. So we're going to take a look and say, hey, you know, what has the buyer chosen? You know, why have they taken those houses? We're going to look at, in that uh, uh, analysis, also homes that have not sold or expired listings, because that's going to give us a, a real good indication of what the buying public has rejected in today's market. So we're going to know what we need to avoid. All right. And, and what, what I did also include in our, in our analysis is homes that uh, would have the under contract status or pending. These are homes that are, are most recently put under contract, but they haven't closed yet. 
So in that case, I won't have an exact sales number for you, but we'll, all, but we'll have a much better idea of what those homes had, the price range they were in, that caused the buyer to take action and put that under contract. All right, see, the goal here is, you know, we don't want to price the house too low because mm -hmm. obviously we don't want to leave money on the table, but the biggest mistake we could make is pricing the house too high and leaving all the money on the table. Right, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. Right. no. So can you see how determining yes. the competitive price is going to be one of the most important things we can do to help get your house sold? Great. Attractive financing. You know, mortgage reps, they tell us that even in this challenging credit uh, and climate that we're in right now, there are still probably over 50 different ways you can finance a house. All right. Um, what we're going to do, the benefit of working with uh, your ERA real estate professional, is that we have relationships with, with many different mortgage lenders. And we have a working knowledge of what the credit market is all about today. All right, we're able to use those relationships to help get our buyers pre-approved so when we show the house right, to the buyers that are coming in, we're gonna know that, that we're not just showing it to somebody who wants to walk through your house, but if they do what we expect them to do and fall in love with what we have, they're going to also be qualified to buy the house and get to the closing table. All right, so what I'm saying here is that they're all going to be pre-approved and pre-qualified because of our re relationship with the lenders. All right, and more importantly, when offers are made to us, because we're going to have offers coming in from other brokers, uh, what's most important to me as your representative is, is not only the price, but the terms, all right, that they're putting on the table, and also, are they qualified? Are they writing an offer in a way that it's realistic and reasonable to think that we're going to ever get to the closing table? And if there's any doubt on that, because of my relationships with these lenders, we're going to be able to get those questions answered prior to having to accept that offer. So we're not going to have that house go under contract and fall through uh, unnecessarily. Mm -hmm. Can you see how that would be a benefit to you folks as far as getting the house sold? And Absolutely. Getting the top dollar? Great. Absolutely. Good, yeah. good. Attention to legal details especially in New Jersey. It seems that every week, <laughs> the state is making it more difficult as far as the layers of paperwork that they keep piling on to us to, to get anything done. All right, but alas, the good news is, because we are in the field, and that's what we do for a living, through our, our association, the National Association of Realtors, we have pre-approved um, sales agreements that we work with. We have access to all the different um, uh, addendums that need to be there and disclosures that need to be made to buyers to cover uh, you legally and us legally. All right, but more importantly, because we have the required disclosures in a written contracts, basically we just fill in the blanks. Right? We're able to work with buyers and, 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 and instead of having the buyer have to go to a uh, lawyer to write up a contract and all these uh, details that go into that, we're able to take a buyer and get him off the market when the buyer is most interested in your property. Okay, we can strike when the iron is hot. All right, and that's the important thing here. So wh whether it's one of my agents or even uh, one of our cooperating agents, when they show the house, if that buyer is showing interest, we could take them out of the market, have them make a written offer, get some kind of commitment buying mm -hmm. your house while they're still excited about the house. All right, now with that in mind, can you see how that's gonna help us generate the highest possible price for you? Yes. yes. Yeah, great. <coughs> Let me move on. Appealing conditions. I don't know. <laughs> this is one of the most important things. Once we go to work for you, we'll, we will work with you mm -hmm. on helping you stage this property and detail the property so it shows its best when the buyers are coming through. Because, folks, you've been living in a house for 30 plus years, you told me, right? You know, yes. and for 30 yep, plus right. years, it's been your home. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, for the next couple of months, when we're marketing your home, it's going to become a product. All right, and I know that's tough to say, but my job is to put your home in the best light for those buyers. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go through the house and f begin to spot things that, you know, we got comfortable living with for the last 30 years <laughs> that, that might, so, you know, harm us or, or be a hindrance when buyers walk into the house. And we'll work on that together once we get started. But the thing to keep in mind is the best condition gets the highest price. Okay. All right. Can you see how that'll help work for your advantage? Sure, sure could. Yes. yes. Tom, Pat's looking at you like <laughs> yeah. there's some things yeah. you do. <laughs> okay. We'll work on that sounds, together. Yes. Tom. Sounds like a good idea. 
<laughs> House has always looked the best right before they sold. Yeah, Why didn't yeah. you do this oh, yeah, before? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. effective <laughs> marketing. You know, one of the biggest <coughs> things we can do for you, obviously, is, is create exposure for your house. And I'm going to get into some more of the details as we go forward. But um, our job is, is to attract buyers. And, and as I said, we'll get into that. But once that buyer is attracted, we're gonna, we need to use our sales skills all right, and be able to uh, show that buyer what the benefits are taking action now and not waiting. Mm -hmm. right, that's one of the biggest challenges we have is everybody wants to wait in this market. Well, the fact that we're trained sales professionals because we are in sales, mm -hmm. all right, our goal is, is first to attract them, get them into your house, have them fall in love with what you have, and then convince them that it is the right time to take action. And that's what we work day and night trying to do out there. All right, and once we get them to that point, then we use our negotiating skills uh, to get them to the table and, and negotiate the best possible uh, price and terms we can in today's market. All right, uh, but put these things together. These are, these are three skills that we put to work for you to get the house sold and get you to closing table into your new home in that time frame that you want. Um, does that sound, uh, can you Good. see where that would be an advantage to you? Certainly would. All right, great. Successful closing, that's the key. All right, you'll see all the pieces to the puzzle on this, uh, mm. <coughs> on this diagram for you. But, you know, there's a lot more to selling your home than just finding the buyer. You know, because once we get them to take action, we negotiate the deal, then a lot of things happen. All right, we're going to have to then deal with attorneys for the attorney review process because even though we write up the contracts, we still have to have the ability to have an attorney oversee it and, and you know, cross the, the, the T's and dot the I's and, and do what they have to do. Um, but once we get through that attorney review, they have to apply for a mortgage. All right, it's important that I make sure that those mortgages are applied for on a timely basis that the appraiser comes out from the mortgage during the mortgage process so we can make sure he gets the approval. There's going to be a home inspection contingency in there. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to coordinate the home inspector to get into the house. So, uh, while you folks are out working and earning and doing what you're doing, we'll be here to, to make sure that the, the inspector gets in. I'll be here when the inspector comes. So if there are any issues that come up, I'll have a better understanding of what those issues are. Uh, we're going to begin the negotiation process again if there are any issues mm -hmm. as to how to overcome those things. So. There's going to be a whole lot of things, a survey, appraisers, our mortgage people, the, the whole thing. A lot of real estate professionals are going to kind of start working on us achieving that goal of getting to that closing table. What I'm going to be doing is, is, is kind of act as the, the conductor of the orchestra to get them all playing the same song at the same time in the same rhythm. All right. Uh, of course, again, our goal is to get to the closing table, coordinate both closings. All right. Mm -hmm. That's going to be key. Mm -hmm. um, that will become my primary focus once we go on the contract. Yeah. Can you see how that will help yeah, us yeah, achieve your goal? Yes. All right, great. All right. <coughs> Let's talk about exposure because, uh, again, other than pricing, <laughs> exposure is one of the most important things that I can do to assist us with, with the marketing of your house. Mm -hmm. All right, real simple formula. The most important element is exposure. Exposure will lead to more potential buyers, and more potential buyers will lead to a faster sale and a higher price. Both of which you told me a little bit earlier were important to you. Is that mm -hmm. correct? That's Absolutely. Great. Yes. <coughs> Let's talk about exposure. Exposure to local markets. Well, we're going to talk about local markets. I, I got to be honest with you, folks. If, if I couldn't expose your property to a local market, I'd be in the wrong business. <laughs> yeah. All right? I tell you, you know, you see where my sign is on my office down the road there. Rent one of those rider trucks and back it right to the sign. If I can't expose your property to local buyers, I'm in the wrong business. Okay. Now, how are we going to do that? We, we do that in a, in a lot of different ways. We're going to take a, mo a multimedia approach to that. I'm going to touch on some of those things to give you a better understanding of it. Um, obviously, our yard sign, because the area is, is an international uh, brand, it is one of the most recognized signs in the marketplace. So when you see when the people see that yard sign in your, in your yard, they're going to know the property is for sale. Uh, a lot of homeowners will, uh, homeowners, potential home buyers, will drive through neighborhoods and uh, because they like the neighborhood. Mm. And when they see a house for sale there, they're gonna, they're gonna you know, have an interest in calling that real estate company to find out the details on it. Uh, flyers, we're gonna distribute flyers. I do it uh, electronically now, okay, <laughs> through, through the internet. Uh, I, I mail flyers about your listing and, and your offering. Uh, as soon as we get it on the market, I hit uh, approximately 100 <coughs> of, of, of the top 
uh, real estate agents in the marketplace. I want them to know first about your property. I don't want, I specified, I don't want it to get just tied up in the, in the, with all the other homes that are in the MLS. Um, we talk about the MLS. <coughs> Uh, folks, MLS, uh, it's 30 years. I don't know how long it's been since you sold the house. <coughs> Would you like a glass okay. of water, dear? <laughs> I've been right, yeah. Okay. I need a drink of water. You're going to have a drink of water. <coughs> All right. So, um, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Thank you. It is overwhelming all the things we do. <laughs> it's, sometimes it does. It takes your breath away. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'm just getting but, over cold. but with the multiple listing, the MLS is the multiple listing service. What, what the multiple listing service is is a trade organization of all the real estate professionals in our area working together to expose our properties to the greatest number of buyers in the shortest period of time. That's really, in short, what it is. All right, what happens is it does become a competitive bidding in environment for the homes that are for sale. All right, so the multiple listing service is one of the most important mm -hmm. things that we can do uh, to help get your property sold.